These items are going to help you to pack better, to organize your cruise cabin. Plus, I have a few new Amazon cruise essentials that I can't wait to show you. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now we all know that planning and packing for a cruise is absolutely different than a land vacation. And in this video, I'm going to show you the most popular, the best selling cruise essentials that are sold on Amazon. Now, a lot of these are tried and true, and I use them myself and I will show you them and tell you about my favorite aspects. But at the same time, I also have some new items that I really wanted to share with you. So I'll be sharing 30 items, but I also have a few little bonus items that while they aren't cruise essentials, they are things that you may just want to bring with you on your cruise vacation. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative or enjoyable in any way, then please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. Go ahead right now. Okay, let's get started. So first up, I have a new carry-on bag. I love this because I could not only use it on embarkation day as my cruise carry-on bag, it would fit all of my toiletries, all of those things I need in my carry-on bag. But at the same time, it's just a great size for when you are flying to your cruise port. And at the same time, let me show you, it does have this area here and I'll screenshot something in so you can kind of see. This actually just goes right over the handle of your suitcase, so it is perfect. You can actually be hands-free if you'd like to be in the airport while you are, well, traveling to your cruise. The inside is really nice and roomy, and it's got a nice flat bottom, as you can see there. Um, so I'm loving this, and of course, I'm loving the nautical look of it as well. Now, everything that I do talk about is going to be linked in the description below this video. Next up, we have packing cubes. Now you might've noticed in the bag, I actually had a packing cube down at the bottom of the bag. And what I do is I'd actually be bringing my change of clothes on embarkation day in my carry-on bag. And what I love about the packing cubes is when you are going on a cruise is you can put your different items in those packing cubes. Maybe you can keep your bathing suits together or you can organize even outfits for different days. You can organize your things that you need for your excursion. It just really helps you to keep organized on the cruise. And as well, you can even keep those things right on the shelves or the drawers. So it just nice and easy in terms of unpacking and packing up at the end of your cruise. Number three. Now this is kind of a newer cruise essential, or at least for me, let me know if you've ever used this before. Basically what this is, is it's a waterproof phone case that you can use and it's touch sensitive. So all of those touch screen functions will actually still work while you have your phone in this plastic case. It stays on a lanyard, so it's really handy. You could be hands-free if you want, if you're on an excursion, if you're on a boat, any of those things, really convenient as well as on the cruise ship, of course, and it is waterproof. I did actually try it in my pool. I will try to insert a little B-roll of that. Number four, a portable phone charger. Now, if you're like me and your phone just doesn't stay charged for more than a few hours, especially if you're on social media, checking your email, maybe taking videos and photos, that I think is in my case, then you'll probably want to have a portable phone charger. Now we use this all the time at shore excursions, but I even use it when I'm on the cruise ship. I just bring it like to the pool. I throw it in my beach bag or my tote bag, and then I can charge my phone while I'm sitting on my deck chair. And I like this one because it's quite quick and it does charge two phones at the same time. Number five, I finally did it. I bought a passport holder. Now, if you've seen my past videos, you will know that the way I kept my passports in my purse was in a plastic baggie. Now, I still love plastic baggies and I'll still bring them with me because they could be very, very handy. But I did think I could be a little bit better. I could put them in a passport holder, be a little bit more organized. So I did do that. Now, you may prefer a neck wallet. For me, I didn't feel like I wanted that around my neck. And I usually really do bring my handbag, my purse. So I figured this would work well. At the same time, it does have a wristlet so you can hold onto this and still be very secure. So I'll leave both the neck wallet because a lot of people really like that as well as this one. I'll leave it linked in the description below and you probably will want to bring um, a place to keep your passports. At the same time now we're going to need things for like our vaccine information so you might want to have a vaccine card holder. I will leave that linked as well. Number six, an absolute must for any cruiser 
is a non-surge protected power bar. Now it's not the same kind of power bar that you do have at home because those are usually surge protected and those will actually be confiscated if you do bring them on a cruise ship. So don't do that. So you'll want to have one that has USB outlets, that has extra electric outlets because well, cruise ship cabins are famous for just not having enough outlets. Number seven, magnet hooks. Now, of course, if you've watched a lot of these videos, then you know that cruise cabin walls are almost always metal, which is why a lot of people recommend bringing magnet hooks. Now, what you'll want to do with these magnet hooks is make sure that they are heavy duty. You want to make sure they can hold a backpack, uh, bathing suits that are drying, all of those sorts of things. And you can actually make a whole section outside of the bathroom door, let's say, where you can actually organize items. So very, very handy. Make sure to have magnet hooks. Number eight, Ziploc reusable accessory bags. Now I have been seeing these everywhere and I just bought them a few weeks ago and tried them out and I'm actually loving them. They're a super price. You get five in a package and you can see this is the size of them without anything in them. This is one that's a little bit filled. Now what I did in this one is I put some of the items that I would bring, let's say in my carry-on bag. So it's kind of like my deodorant, makeup, that kind of thing. I filled this all up and it's absolutely perfect. It just seals up like this. Now the bag also stands up on its own, as you can see here. And it really is just a nice size. You can actually reuse these or really if they get a little bit dirty, then you could just throw them out because the price is super reasonable. And tell me, don't you love this tropical pattern? I just love it. Number nine, in keeping with packing and organizing, this toiletry bag is amazing. It actually hangs up so you can hang it on your bathroom door. You could bring it, of course, in your carry-on bag if you want as well. It's great for pre-cruise days and it really just hangs super long. I have it with a few things, not too many, but you can see how absolutely huge this is. This is size medium. It's also available in size small and large. And what I really like about it is if you wanted to, you could actually put full size shampoos and other things in this section here. Number 10, an over the door hanging organizer. Now this is where a lot of people are going to say, do I need everything on this list? No, you do not need everything on this list. But if you are a family and you're maybe cruising with kids, I think that hanging organizer could be very convenient to keep all of your children's items. Or if you simply like to use that vertical space, that could be super convenient to keep your sunscreen, your flip-flops, all of those different items. So let's talk about a few things that are gonna make your cruise cabin a little bit more comfortable. So one of those is a nightlight that's actually motion sensored. So I think especially if you do have an inside cabin, it tends to be very, very dark. Of course, there's a lot of tips and tricks you can use instead, like leaving the bathroom door open a sliver, but this is kind of nice because it doesn't really disturb anybody. It's motion sensored. So as soon as you kind of get up, that light will go on. So this is pretty convenient. Um, if you're somebody who actually gets very hot or you find the cabin stuffy, then you might want to bring a portable fan with you. You're definitely allowed to do that. And I will leave one that is highly recommended in the description below. Number 14, poopery bathroom spray. Now I didn't realize this, but poopery spray is actually meant to be sprayed before you go. Apparently it does something chemical with, I think the water itself. So anyway, that is something handy to have on a cruise because well, cruise cabin quarters are small. Number 15, something very apropos for today, and that is Clorox wipes. I think these were a dollar on Amazon. So definitely something handy to have while you cruise. So if you're going on a cruise, you might be a little bit concerned about getting seasick while you're on your cruise. So I do think it is important that we always bring with us something just in case to prevent it or even a remedy. So one thing that I personally really like is boning. It just really works for us. Otherwise you might like Dramamine, but something that is non-drowsy and personally, boning just really works for us. Now, also you could use C-bands. Those are natural. Those work with the pressure points on your wrist. So if you are somebody who is prone to motion sickness, make sure you bring those C-bands. Those are even really handy for when you're taking the tender off the cruise ship, sometimes to an island or the destination. And as well, even if you go on a shore excursion, maybe you're going to go whale watching in Alaska or you do a catamaran um, excursion on a Caribbean cruise, then if you bring that C-band and you wear it, it really is just very, very good. Number 17. Now this is probably my favorite thing to remedy seasickness and it's a little bit of a trick or a hack and it's to eat a ginger candy. So I always bring some ginger candy with me on a cruise. And if I do take that when my stomach is just a little touch queasy, then usually it can take all of my seasickness symptoms away. Now, if you've ever used ginger and if you find it helpful, please let me know in the comments below. 
Number 18, a lanyard. So if you wanna be more hands-free during your cruise, definitely have a lanyard. What I like about these is they actually unclip as well. So if you wanna just kind of keep it in your pocket like that, you can do it as well. And it doesn't have to stay around your neck, but those other times when you wanna be more hands-free, it can stay around your neck and they are available in different patterns for the lanyard as well. Number 19, towel clips. Now it really does get very breezy on a cruise ship. So you wanna have something to be able to keep your towels staying down because the ocean breeze will just take it away. And at the same time, of course, when you're on excursion, so you can bring towel clips or you may prefer towel bands. Number 21, make sure to bring a refillable water bottle. Yes, you'll wanna make sure that you can refill that water bottle to have on the cruise ship, but especially when you're on shore excursions, you wanna have a nice big water bottle to bring with you on your cruise. Number 22, if you are flying, make sure to bring an electronic luggage scale. You wanna make sure that your luggage is not too heavy, that you don't go over the weight allowance at the end of your cruise. Now, just a little tip as well, you might wanna bring an extra bag folded up in your suitcase if you buy a few extra souvenirs or something. Sometimes we bring back more going home than we do on the way to our cruise. Number 23, speaking of shore excursions, bring a shore excursion bag. Now, I love this bag. And as a matter of fact, I have brought it in the past as an embarkation day bag, but it wasn't ever full. And that's why I decided to get the new one. But this is amazing for shore excursions. The reason is that it fits those big towels. It fits the water bottles. It just fits absolutely everything. And it is lined on the inside. So it kind of keeps the sand out. Number 24. Now, I think when we do get back to cruising, we're probably all going to want to say a little extra thanks to our favorite crew members. So whether you want to write a note, if you want to give an extra tip, anything that you want to do, these are just some nice thank you cards. I really love this to give to crew members. Number 25, if you did think about decorating maybe your cruise cabin walls or the doors, these are really handy. These are actually magnetic frames, so you can put in your itinerary, you can put in maybe lists of things that you're doing, maybe a photo, a decoration, something that says happy anniversary to celebrate, anything that you want. But these are really interesting if you did want to decorate your door or your cabin wall. Number 26, luggage tag holders. If you don't have these already, you just need these. They are available in a short size or a longer size, depending on your cruise line. So when you do check on the website, it'll let you know what you need. These are so convenient. You can actually reuse them. And then what you'll do is you'll simply print out and then fold your luggage tags into this holder and you'll attach it to your luggage. It's going to be a lot easier on the day of your cruise. Number 27 and 28. So you'll probably want to bring a tie to go and a downy wrinkle release. So you can see I put these in my Ziploc accessory bags. They are so cute. I love the pattern. Uh, in any case, this is going to save you on your cruise. You can actually just spray a lot of your clothing and you will be able to take out your wrinkles. And the tie to go, I mean, who doesn't use tie to go all the time? Not sponsored, should be. Love tie to go. So definitely bring that on your cruise. Number 29, binoculars. Now, especially if you are going on an Alaska cruise, you definitely want to make sure that you have binoculars with you. But even if you're on a Caribbean cruise, just imagine being on your balcony or out on the deck and looking out at the ocean and being able to see that marine life. Yes, you can see dolphins, you can see flying fish, you might even see whales, and those binoculars are going to be wonderful. And number 30, all of the essentials that you need, especially for a Caribbean cruise. Now, even if you're not in the Caribbean, you do want to bring some sunscreen. And obviously, you want to make sure it's the sunscreen that is good for you. Now, I do suggest if you're going to anywhere Caribbean, make sure that you bring reef safe sunscreen. That is really important in a lot of those islands. It's the only type of sunscreen allowed usually and also bring something with some aloe vera so make sure just in case you do get a little bit too much sun and you need something and I always bring some lip balm as well make sure that you do bring some lip balm with you okay so now I have a couple of bonuses for you and while they aren't cruise essentials they are things that you just might want to bring on your cruise so ladies you know how they often tell us not to bring the good jewelry on a cruise well I've been testing out some of the fashion jewelry on Amazon and believe me there is some stuff that is not good that I shipped right back that has not been good, but I've also found some things that are really good. So two things that I wanted to show you today is one of them is the initial necklace that I am wearing. I have been loving it. It hasn't tarnished. I just love it. It's um, gold, but it's available in rose gold and in a white gold as well. Super reasonably priced on Amazon. I'm going to leave that in the description below, but at the same time on my Amazon storefront, I do have some sort of everyday jewelry that you might enjoy. It's really very um, not expensive and at the same time, it could be really great to bring it 
on your cruise. And something else that I bought that I love and I was trying out is, well, it's this ring. Very pretty. So if you want to leave your good engagement ring at home and bring something that is not a good engagement ring, but that looks just beautiful, there is this one and there are a few other styles as well. I'm going to leave them in the description below. And you might want to bring them in this jewelry pouch. I love the jewelry pouch. I'll be bringing this on my next cruise as well. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful if you are getting ready and you're packing for a cruise and even if you love Amazon items. Now, if you'd like to see more Amazon cruise essentials or even Amazon travel hauls, let me know please in the comments below. And I do have a video right after this one all about what to wear on a cruise that I hope that you will enjoy. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now. Happy cruising.